eight weeks in the books in the NFL season now, eight weeks of the longest regular season ever, and it's getting late uh, early for some, and then there's still lots more roadway for, for everybody to, to play with. And uh, normally we'd be at the slight right here, we'd be at that halfway point. We'd be talking about the 4-4 four and four Kansas City Chiefs, and we'd be talking about the 2-6 and six Giants being at the halfway point. And uh, uh, it's, it's funny how uh, even though we're at the halfway point uh, for the longest regular season ever, it's tough to look at the Giants and not think their season is over. Mm-hmm. And it's over, and then you've got to sit there and wonder, what the hell are you going to do with Daniel Jones? And how are you going to evaluate him in the next eight weeks or nine? And what are you going to do there? Let's place that aside for a second. Let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs since they're, you know, the last uh, uh, two AFC representatives in the Super Bowl. And they're sitting there right at 500. And it ain't pretty. And I'm just trying to, let's just hash it all out together, shall we? Because I'm trying to figure out what's up. And is it just because everything's come so easy? easy for them with Patrick Mahomes it's hard hard work in the NFL to win football games but nobody's made winning football games look easier over the last three years coming into this season four years coming into the season than uh than the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes right he's coming out of the gate coming out of the gate being drafted honestly just put it all in put it all in perspective. Sat out year one. Nobody pounding the table saying, where is he? Like we're doing in Chicago, or I did from the first second with Justin Fields, or 49er fans are doing, where is this guy? And it happened because there was Alex Smith sitting there. And so his entree was easy into the NFL. Even that. How many times are you going to see anybody anymore at any point in the rest of maybe our football lives trading up to go get a quarterback in the first round, and we're just going to sit him out, and nobody's going to be like, where is this guy? (laughs) That's an invitation to myself. That's what I'm doing. Take his lumps. That's that's what I keep saying. Take his lumps. You've been saying it. Take his lumps, exactly. So even 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 that was easy. And then his first year, uh, 50 touchdowns. (laughs) (laughs) He made it look so easy. First regular season as a starter. Just like yeah, hey, and, then, and then and then and then you know obviously uh, the lump came. His first season lump came in the form of losing to Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game. Which, by the way, everybody's taking those lumps. Yeah, right. <laughs> which, by the much. way, only happened because the dude was offsides. That's right, D Ford. D Ford. I know, right? <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> and then his next two years making the Super Bowl, including an MVP campaign and a Super Bowl MVP campaign, and then last year made the Super Bowl, and even that loss in the Super Bowl was how amazing is he? How amazing is he? I mean, so everything's come so easy. So now that it's hard, we're thinking they stink now. They're not going to win the Super Bowl now. They can't win the Super Bowl now. Not not just not going to win it. They can't. And the defense is the the thing that we've been pointing out quite a bit for for Kansas City. And then offensively, we had Mahomes on last week, and I hit him with every single one of the conventionally wise points from the punditry. Been figured out. Super Bowl hangover. He's doing too much. He laughed at the figured him out, right? Even yeah. <laughs> uh, the 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 Super Bowl hangover. He's like, "What's that?" And you're like, "What what does that look like?" Like, g- give me examples of what that looks like. And then the third thing, he's doing too much. He even said, "Maybe so." I'm paraphrasing his answer of "maybe so." The not giving up on the play, not taking the checkdowns, or as the Manning said in the Manning cast last night, quoting the longtime coach in Minnesota, Jerry Burns about taking the checkdowns if the defense is forcing you to just stay patient be patient Mm -hmm. you can never broke go broke earning a profit and that's what the mannings called taking the checkdowns you're earning a profit that's how peyton manning in essence helped beat the bears in that super bowl in the rain for the colts dominique rhodes could have been the mvp of that because he was taking the profit all night all night 
the cover two was telling Peyton, take the profit. He kept on taking the profit with Dominique Rhodes that night. So last night he started taking the profit. But the turnovers are still there. And that's the Super Bowl hangover. That's like If you want to know what a Super Bowl hangover looks like, it's like Kelsey with one catch in three yards in the first half and then fumbling like he never does. Weird. And then Mahomes throwing a pick. Could have been a couple more interceptions. That's the Super Bowl hangover. Tyreek Hill having the drop season the first seven weeks of the season. That's Super Bowl hangover. The, uh, the, 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 uh, the touchdown streaks that we've been seeing with the Chiefs, those aren't easy to come by. I mean, Tyreek Hill had 12 catches last night. In, in a normal Tyreek Hill game, that's 180 yards. He didn't even have 100 yards last night. He had night. half that, I 94 know. on 12 uh, catches. Right? Thumbs and up. So, and then the, the defense not performing well. And players tweeting back, clapping back at fans. And and, yep. and Tyron Matthew, one of our favorites, calling the fan base toxic in response and then pushing, pulling back on it. That's the Super Bowl hangover stuff. And then the defense looked good last night. But is it because the Giants are just so inconsistent and boring and risk averse, not going for it with a two and five record and fourth and two? Let's kick a field goal in the first half. Mm -hmm. Let's not go for it around midfield. It's fourth and four, don't you know? Is that what it is? Again, I, I know, you know, somebody in my position is supposed to have a hot take and just say, Chiefs will never make the playoffs. Chiefs will not win the Super Bowl this year. I can't say that. I won't say that. They're too damn talented. A great coach. But I can show up here and say, I don't know. We don't know about the Chiefs making the playoffs this year, which is new. This is the hard part that usually comes with every NFL team. Didn't see the Chiefs splitting their first eight games and being in a 500 mosh pit with the Browns, Broncos, and Patriots right now in the sniffing it category. Didn't see that coming for Kansas City. But they've got nine games left. If they do their usual win two out of every three games, that's a playoff spot. Problem is, they're not consistent enough to win two out of every three games. And then you look at their upcoming schedule, and if they play with that hung, hungover look to them, and again, it's not like they're not trying. It's not like they're not practicing. It's not like they're being coached poorly or not coached up enough. These things just happen to a lot of NFL teams, and it never has to the Chiefs. Man, if they're inconsistent and they're not – cashing in points and instead turning it over inside the red zone and not getting an immediate pick thrown by the opposition back like Daniel Jones did in the first quarter. They're going to lose to Green Bay in week nine, and they're going to lose at Las Vegas in week 10 in division, and then they're going to lose at home to Dallas right before Thanksgiving week, man. That's a loss in every single one of those games. And then you're staring at four and seven, five and six if you go one and two in those games. Now you're in serious trouble. They've got the quarterback. They've got the weapons. And if the defense shows up next week against Aaron Rodgers like they did against Daniel Jones, will they have the same results? Probably not because that's Aaron Rodgers and not Daniel Jones. But can they show up like that way and make Aaron Rodgers – have as difficult a night as Daniel Jones did last night? Anybody who sits here says, no way. You're full of it. You're full of it. You don't know what you're talking about. Because this is the NFL and things can change. Fast. When you're not expecting it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.